program, it's gonna be optimal that whatever uh, leg exercise you choose, you're gonna be alternating so that one doesn't really get a rest, okay? You don't want one getting a crazy bump and the other one being fresh. So it'll cause a little imbalance. So in this case, we're going to do one, good. Again, only using his calf to lift up, not his other knee. Straight up, alternating. So we're really gonna get those that blood flowing both sides, releasing growth hormone, okay? That's what we're gonna try achieving with this program. You're yeah. gonna see you're gonna get a lot of results from this. Remember that yes, we're not gonna have the equipment to load super heavy. That does not mean you cannot make progress. Most people lift a one to 10 repetition their whole life. It's not gonna hurt you to spend a month in quarantine doing some higher rep, some metabolic conditioning, okay? You'll lose some fat, you will gain muscle, maybe in smaller muscles that you don't think you need, but you do. And uh, it's only gonna help you make more progress and break plateaus when you go back to your regular weightlifting. All right, I'm gonna show you guys now step ups, the second of this exercise. Now there's different variations of step ups, we'll go through them, okay? So number one would be for the easiest variation, you get a little heel elevation, using book, brick, whatever you got, okay? He's gonna, he's gonna stand straight up, he's not gonna try bending his hip, again, just like the hack squat. Okay, and he's gonna step straight up. Good. And then his heel comes down, touches lightly. Okay, the key here is if the baby's hand was underneath his heel as he goes down, the baby shouldn't cry, okay? That means he's barely touching the ground. He's only using it for a, a, a slight touch and control of his body weight, but he's not falling over to that foot. He's not falling over and bending his hip, okay? So he wants to stay straight up. His knee goes forward, his knee goes right back to the heel. Back forward, over toe, back to the heel. Just like that, okay, without falling over. Right? Okay. So another another version, again, depending on the height. This is a little high for a side step up, okay? But let's use this this, for example. Side step is similar to the uh, Pauline step up, but right here, you just put the knee forward, touch with the heel, straight up. The Pauline is in front, okay, with the heel elevation. This one is just sideways, and you just go as low as you can without the heel elevating. So okay. let me, I'll, I'll go over that again, okay? So side step up, you're going straight down. Heel is flat, okay? You use anything from four to about a foot high, depending on how strong you are, okay? Now, the Poliquin, the last one we showed where is to rehab this muscle or to strengthen this muscle. Maybe you don't need rehab, but to strengthen it. It's this way, the heel must be elevated and this foot goes in front of this foot. The heel is in front of the toe, okay? So that's Poliquin step up, go back to the side step up, flat in foot line. and in line, okay? Just like that. Knee still bends forward, but this is a little more balanced, hip and knee.